Hi friends, welcome to Florence Programming. In this video, I am going to explain you about data mining. What is data mining? What is the functionality of data mining? And what type of data can be mined? So these are the things we are going to see in this video. So just we can start from what is data. See, every day we are using or we are generating huge volume of data. So data is nothing but a fact or observations or measurement about some objects. Suppose we are going for shopping and we are buying some product. So the name of the product is a data. The quantity what we have purchased that is a data and the price for the unique product that is also a data. So like that every day we are generating a huge amount of data in our life. Next, what is information? See, data is different from information. See, information is processed data. See, as I said, we have our data like product name and the quantity, then price. By using all these three data, can we get some information? Yes the product names, the product name and the quantity one and the price is 100 rupees. So we can get information that the product rate is 100 rupees. So this is the information. That information we can pass to our friends. See, I, I went to shopping yesterday. Just the product uh, cost is this much. So this is the information. So the processed data is information it is useful for our life for analysis for taking decision for communication so information is processed data yes now uh, data is as i said we are creating we are generating huge volume of data every day in our life so we can say we are living in the age of data then what is the use of the data and how we are generating data? Some of the examples I have given here. See, online shopping applications like Amazon, Snapdeal, Flipkart, Walmart. They are handling millions of transactions per week at thousands of its branches. So for every second, people are generating number of transactions. They are doing number of online shopping. So here, huge volume of data is getting transferred over internet. Next, you take telecommunication applications. So in telecommunication applications, people, we are keep on talking with our friends and relatives. So in the network, it carry tens of bytes of data transfer every second. Then the another applications we can take in a health industry, healthcare sector, they are generating huge volume of data like medical medical data, patients records, patients diagnosis record, patients monitoring record like that. They are generating different types of data like text data, image data, video data, like the different types of data they are generating in medical sector. When you come to web search engine, see everything we are searching in the internet. So uh, whatever the doubt, the people we are having just we are text in the Google. So the Google is process tens of bytes of data daily and coming to social media. People nowadays, they are spending most of their time in social media like Facebook, uh, WhatsApp, Twitter, Instagrams. So here also it is processing different types of data like text, picture, video, like that it is processing huge volume of data every seconds. So around us data is moving through different media. So we have a huge volume of data with us. What is the use? So we need powerful tool to uncover valuable information from this huge volume of data. So such tool uh, is nothing but data mining system. So data mining system helps us to process 
a huge volume of data and it will give some information for us. So data mining is extraction of interesting patterns or knowledge from huge volume of data because we are moving towards information age. We are in data age. From data age, we, we are moving towards information age or knowledge age through data mining system. So data mining will extract information from the huge volume of data. From that information, we are getting knowledge. We are getting intelligence for our enterprises. So data mining, we can say knowledge discovery from data. So some other names we can use as knowledge extraction, pattern analysis, data archaeology, data dredging, and information harvesting, like that any names we can give related to data mining. So data mining is a powerful tool which helps to get knowledge from huge volume of data. So nowadays, the data is very, very important. Everywhere, if you are going for any shopping, people are asking you to fill your name, your mobile number, your data. Because our data is very much important for many enterprises for marketing. So data is an important source for us for generating information and getting knowledge okay yes next we can see what are the steps involved in knowledge discovery process or data mining process so in other word for data mining is knowledge discovery process so steps in the process of knowledge discovery there are seven steps are involved here the first one is data cleaning Data cleaning is nothing but some missing data or some errorless data will be cleaned or will be handled and we make the data to be uh, clear without any error and uh, without any missing values. So that is called data cleaning. And the next two process is data integration. So data integration means as everybody knows data warehouse means the data from heterogeneous sources will be integrated together. So suppose I am going for some analysis about some data means I will collect data from different sources. So I have to integrate all the data together for our mining process. So the step is data integration. Next data selection. See the data integrate uh, integration after integration we will have large volume of data but all the data will not be relevant for our analysis. So what are the data is really relevant or really interested for mining that data we have to select for our mining process. So that is the third step in knowledge discovery process. The next one is data transformation. Data transformation is nothing but since we are collecting data from different sources. So every sources will follow their own format. Once you integrate all the data together, we have to use some uniform format for our mining process. So we are transforming the data to the uniform. See, suppose some numerical value. You can see the value may be from 23, some places it may be from 100 or some places it may be from 1000. That is two digit, three digit, four digit like that. But it is very difficult for our process. So what we can do, we can transform all the data from zero to one. So normalization, we can convert the data to a particular range 0 to 1 or 1 to 10. So we can normalize all the data here. The next step, we can apply our mining algorithm here. We can apply our mining analysis or functionality on the data. So up to the fourth step, the data gets ready for our mining process. So next we can apply our mining functionality on the data. So as a result of mining, we will get patterns. We will get number of patterns, but all the patterns will not be relevant or will not be interested pattern because patterns must be interested for our analysis. So we have to evaluate the uptimed pattern from the data mining process. Then that pattern 
can be represent or it will reflect the knowledge so that knowledge can be represented in some form either it may be in the tabular form or it may be in the line graph or bar graph or pie chart as we like as we require we can represent the knowledge in any format so these are the seven steps involves in knowledge discovery process this is all about data mining now we can see we are saying data 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 so what type of data we can use for our mining purpose so the next this is the pictorial representation of the steps what we discussed in the previous slides so the pattern evaluation then at last we are getting knowledge the knowledge can be represented in any forms next we can see what kind of data can be used for our data mining process any data we can use some of the data i have listed here not restricted up to this there is no limit we can use any type of data as per our requirements the very basic forms of data for mining applications i have given here the first one is database our normal database either oracle or mysql or sql any database we can use so the database will be the structure like row and column and every column will be treated as attributes so if that attributes we can use for our mining process and the next one is data warehouse data so we can use data from data warehouse so when you come to data warehouse the structure of data warehouse is cube structure multi dimensional data model it is cube structure so that we can use so olap we can apply here that is online analytical processing we can do on data warehouse model and the next one is transactional data so all transaction based data that is sequence of transaction will be stored in the transactional data so suppose in a bank transaction and they want to make analysis about whether we can approve loan for a particular customer or not so what they will do they will analyze all the transactions the previous 3 months transaction of a particular customer then they will take a decision whether to approve or not so for that they may use they can use transactional data or all our online purchase online shopping we are doing particular transactions um, money transaction we are doing so such data will be in transactional database and the next one is object oriented relational databases so relational database with object oriented concept so these will support all object oriented features like class object inheritance polymorphism all these features will be supported here so that database we can use then temporal databases temporal databases is nothing but time related data then sequence databases all sequential events immaterial of the time all the sequential event will be recorded in a database so that we can use for our mining process then time series databases so time series databases if you are seeing see suppose stock market data or inventory data these are all some it is based on time so such database also we can use for our mining uh, process and the next one is spatial databases spatial databases some geographical uh, data map we can use then satellite images we can use so that data can be used for our mining purpose next to text databases text bit databases text will have the unstructured format or semi structured format text mining we can mine the patterns from the textures so text mining we can this is a very separate uh, research area then multimedia databases is streaming data multimedia data is is a images or animation data so that is streaming if you want to generate some patterns from streaming data we can use the multimedia database then web database web database suppose you have a website and you want to uh, know which page is visited oftenly by the uh, users web users so we can do that analysis using web database so these are some kind of data we can use for our mining purpose so hope you you understood about data mining process 
and what are different data we can apply for our data mining process. Thank you.